Hey, so today I'll be teaching you how to implement the view flipper on Android. You must have seen the view flipper on different apps. Say it could even be your sliding gallery or different text floating around the screen or changing. I'll show you exactly how to make it. So I'll create my view flipper. I've configured my layout as usual, linear layout, Android gravity center and orientation vertical. View flipper, wrap content, wrap content. Now, uh, this is our view flipper object. Whatever goes inside this is what will be what you'll be switching be between. So it could be images, it could be text, it could be anything. So in my case, I'll create two text views. Text view, wrap content, wrap content. And I'll increase the size. I'll give it a shade. primary dark now I'll create another view text view just copy paste this I'll call it view 2 as you can see the second second view is not visible here because that will be the view which will uh, be transitioned into from the first view you could keep adding views and that will be the order of transition now I'll give my view flipper an ID VF and I'll change the color for this. I'll keep it as do we have let's say color action no. color primary itself. Okay, color primary will be the lighter shade. Or I'll just give it a better color. I'll just make it yellow probably. Okay, yeah, this yellow. So we'll go to our main activity. I'll call a function to do all the work. View flip. It's my own defined function, so I'll define it here. View flip, yeah. So first I'll find my view flipper. Call it VF. So there's my object. Now VF is my current operating object. Uh, so we need to set a few parameters for VF. You could do a lot of things uh, uh, such as click to transition, move to next. But first I'll show you the simple automatic transition. So we'll do this VF dot set uh, flip interval. Yeah, so this is a automatic interval setting in milliseconds. So I'll keep it to one second. And then I just start uh, flip. Start flipping. This should do the trick. I will run it. Okay, so here's the app. You can see the transition. This is a very simple flip. Uh, we could make it a little better using animations. So I'll show you how to use the animations. We need to create an animation object. So that there are two types of animations which will happen here. One is the animation that is for the view to come into site and one is for it to leave the site. So it's animation in and animation out. We need to create objects for both. So I'll create. animation utils load animation uh, we could do two types of animations one of them is custom animations which you can make and save in the anim folders inside your resources or you could also use the inbuilt animations in android uh, making a custom animation is quite useful because you can really fine tune it and make it the way you want i'll soon make a video on how to do that uh, but now we'll use the inbuilt animations that we can get by using android dot r dot anim and we choose our animation 
say we are doing a custom animation, we I would just take off this Android. It will be r dot anim dot whatever is my XML file name. So going back, yeah. So r dot anim dot. Uh, we have a lot of options. This is the animation for the scene to come in, so it will be slide in. You have another lot of choices like fade in, fade out, accelerate, decelerate, etc. I'll use slide in left to keep it simple. Next, I'll make uh, an object for going out. Again, animation utils. Dot load animation. This context. Android. Dot r. Dot anim. Dot so this is this one goes out so it's slide out right so now we have our objects ready we need to apply these to our view flipper so we'll go here vf dot set uh, first we'll set the animation for coming in so it's set in animation and we put our animation object inside animal yeah. and then we set uh, out object so out animation that is anim out uh, I'll make the interval three seconds to make it more visible. Okay, that's it. So I'll run the code. So here you see the sliding in from the left and sliding out to the right. So it's a really cool feature. You could use it in a lot of places. Probably you could make your own display gallery or slide notifications, slide messages, and you could do so much with this. It's a great widget. Do give it a try. It's really good. And thanks for watching.